Earlier this week, West Ham United announced the signing of Nair Fagir, but what should Hammers fans expect from our new centre-back? The truth is, I don't know. I've never seen him play. So in this video, I've got two clips. And the first one is from Arno, who is a Rennes fan. So he's obviously watched him for the past two seasons playing for his club. He's going to give us a little bit of an insight into how he's got on in the last two years and maybe what we can expect to see in the cloud in blue. Yeah, if I have to say something about him, is that he's a very fast uh, ball-playing centre-half that is really composed on the ball and very strong into tackles and honestly he's been one of our key players and uh, I, I don't know how our defence is going to be next season without him because each time uh, we don't have him in defence our defence seems like pretty lost and he fit well into a system where we like this season with Ren we were in a 4-4-2 with four defenders and it was just like passing the ball from the back from the goalkeeper. The, then the defender starts, like, in, in a sense, the attack by passing the ball to the midfielders or the attackers. And and we can say that Naya Fagad has really improved in that, in that area and especially, like, with the ball, he's very composed and very accurate with, uh, with the ball. He has, like, 89% pass accuracy. So, honestly, he... He will be a very great player for you, but the his best attribute is of course his heading, his aerial abilities. It's just uh, it's just insane because he pretty much wins a lot of his duels, pretty much all of them, and uh, he will be very useful on like corners or even to try and like make the team be chill at the back by just heading the ball away or even. Like I said, with his passing abilities and also to recover really quick, uh, he's very fast. It's not talk about enough in France, but he's a very, very fast player. And honestly, uh, is, he's going to be a huge loss for Rennes. And I, and uh, I'm, I'm actually happy for West Ham that that you lot got him, and he's going to be a really good addition to the squad alongside the likes of uh, Craig Dawson or even uh, Kurt Zuma. It, like he's he he was one of the best league and centre backs last season, and uh, even in top three, I, I can't even lie, bias aside, and honestly, he's just uh, he's just been insane, and um, and yeah, you've got like a great player. Even though the price might be a bit more than what we expected to sell him for, it's still a very good bargain, a very great like purchase, and I really hope that he will do very well for West Ham and that. You will take a like a very good care of him, and and honestly, he he deserves it. He deserves that move to like a Premier League club. And honestly, he he's been working hard. He's been a very professional player, uh, like a great man on and off the pitch. He's been just uh, he's been just class humanly, and whether it's on the pitch or off the pitch, he's always been a, a serious professional. And honestly, he will be a great addition to the squad. He will give some experience and also a lot of like a good a good vibe to to the dressing room and honestly he's going to be a great addition alongside his technical abilities like i said he's very strong on the ball he's very fast he's he's pretty flu he's pretty fluid uh, even technically his only problem is maybe like he was injured towards the end of the season but we could see that even with his injuries that we were lost, like we lost some important games to for like the race of the Champions League. We finished fourth, but we could have finished third if we had him. And honestly, it's uh, yeah, it's a shame to lose him, but I hope that we will replace him well. And I hope, I really hope that we will do well in a great club like West Ham and in a good environment and in a team that is very ambitious with uh, with a nice project. So. Uh, I'm happy that he's gone there, at least that he's trying to achieve his dreams. And honestly, um, fair play to West Ham for getting him. And I, and I hope that he will take great care of him and that he will do well for your club and bring you uh, to where you your objectives are. And and yeah, I'm very happy for him. I'm very proud and I hope he will do well for you lot. With the two years that we had him for, he's always been very good and he's improved massively and we... The fact that we got him for five million and that at the beginning it was a bit shaky and everything with maybe our style of play, he still adapted really quickly and just showed like all his talent really quickly and 
he deserves uh, this move and honestly he's been improving a lot and literally been like like the, our key player our best center back and even one of the best in the league and honestly without him our defense as i said will be pretty lost and and he's like a guide he's like a guide for our defense and even for our team he's a he's a born leader and Honestly, uh, he will be a, a great addition for West Ham. So, honestly, a great transfer from you lot. Even though you might have paid maybe a bit too much for his price buy, he's still, uh, even for this price, he's still gonna, will be a great signing for West Ham. And I hope that he will do well and that West Ham will take care of him. So, uh, thank you. Massive thank you to Arno for sending that in. And the second clip comes from Euro Expert. You will recognise him. He was on the channel last season as he joined Charlie to preview the upcoming Europa League games against Lyon and Frankfurt. Now, before West Ham United had made their first summer signing, we at Hammers Chat had made ours as we signed up Euro Expert to provide some videos for our patrons. So, when West Ham United are strongly linked to a player from overseas that we may not know enough about, we get Euro Expert to put together about a 90 second snapshot view of the strongly linked player. So far this summer he has done Nef Aguard, he's also done Yusuf El Nesri and Mohamed Bayou. So here's what Euro Expert had to say about our new centre back for our patrons. Hello West Ham fans, this is everything you need to know about Naif Aguard. So the Wren centre back is playing nearly 100 games for his club since moving in 2020. This season he is also ranked in the top echelon of Ligue 1 for completed passes per 90, showing he's very comfortable with the ball at his feet and he actually completes more passes per 90 than any West Ham player. He ranks well in the simple stats too, like success in 1v1 situations and aerial duels, helped by his 6 foot 2 frame and his speed which I personally think is really impressive. It sees him meet attackers right at their feet, encouraging them to try and take the ball round him, which usually results in the Moroccan beating them for a foot race to the ball. He also plays at a back four formation at Rennes, which bodes well for a move to West Ham, and his team map shows he is happy to move with the ball out wide, which could mean that he could fill in at left back on an emergency basis. In fairness, those ball touches out wide could be down to him moving with the ball and either playing it forward on the ground or switching it to a teammate like he usually does. Aguered has been hyped up for over a season now in France, and if anything, it took me a little little longer to notice him. People like at Cameruno on Twitter uh, notice him pretty early so maybe you can buzz him for some thoughts too. Uh, I would rate a move to West Ham an 8 out of 10. There you go a massive thank you to Arno and Udo Expert and hopefully you enjoyed that video and a little bit of an insight into Nair Figurd of what we can perhaps expect to see at West Ham United next season. Now tomorrow's video also has a special guest. A special guest don't stop coming there. We've got Darmesh from Sky Sports on tomorrow to give us the insights in what's going on in the West Ham transfer world. Darmesh was really good at reporting the Aguero transfer just like he was Kurt Zuma last summer. So he's got a little bit of credit in the Hammers Chat Bank if you like. He came on twice last summer. He came on the January transfer window. He's always gone down well with you guys. He's back tomorrow. Hopefully you tune in and enjoy that as well. We've enjoyed this one. Please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're getting there, aren't we? And I'll catch you tomorrow.